Hi everyone. So I'm going to the movies later with Riley. She's right there. Hey. And Nyla. So I'm gonna get ready. And I got clean hamster's cage. Okay, here's a fact. Riley only goes to school with her hair up, her hair half down, like in a half pony, or like a braid or something. She never wears her hair completely down. Have you yet once this year? Um, once. Once. That's it. I've only worn my, wore my hair in a braid once, and then the rest is straight and curly. You're crazy. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's what the question of the day should be. How do you wear your hair to school every day? Pretty much every day, like. Yeah, pretty much every day. So I was searching around in the app store on my iPad and I came across this GarageBand app. So I clicked on it and downloaded it. And he's been playing music. music. I've been playing a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> you broke those? The dogs like this one too. They're like all stuck together. You can't even take them out. It's just dog bark. <laughs> You need to create your own song, Chase, and you can do the, make us new intro music. Come on, man. I don't actually even know how to learn. Man, I'd rather stick to just doing whatever I feel like doing. Dun, 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 dun. But that bit right there, we just need to go. I can fix it real fast. No, I don't want you to have my hands. I'm just sitting there doing random stuff. And you can do autoplay, which I've been doing, where it's just like you just click it and it'll play random stuff. You're not playing anything. You wanna do that? <laughs> this is the one thing I can actually play. Watch. Wait, ready? <laughs> No, you did it wrong. You did this first and then that. No, I didn't. I did this. Wait. Already, so now I have to clean my hamster's cage, and I can tell he has grown butt fur. So I really want to give him a haircut on the butt, but that's dangerous. We love Pipsqueak a lot, but we really don't like his long butt fur because it's always in the way of everything. So what I'm going to show you guys while I'm cleaning his cage, I'm going to show you a little bit of me cleaning and of him, what he does while we're not paying attention to him. So he's going to sit right here. Ready guys? Start paying attention to him because he's not leaving. There he is guys. People who have a hamster should try this because it's easy. And there you go. It's easy as that. And I know some people who don't like completely clean their cage, like they just scoop it. That's not good for your hamster because then there's still poop in there. And actually the shavings, there's also pee too, so you can't forget about that. And you always want to clean it because then the cage the whole time will be dirty. If you're wondering why Pixie has such a big cage, is because when we first got him, we had this huge, huge, huge guinea pig cage. And you know what happened? Um, we actually put him in and he went through the bars and got out. 
So we were afraid that if we got any other smaller cage, we bought tons of stuff for them, like a tunnel. And it was kind of like a tiny like turtle cage. We used to have turtles. So it was really like, let's see, ruler by half a ruler. So it wasn't really big. So we got him a big cage. And we were trying to get him a smaller cage, but we saw that he was getting used to the box. So then we just kept him in the box. So, And another recommendation I have for when you're doing shavings, don't put too much. Put kind of just enough. Like, I don't have much left of this. Um, well, this is kind of like something just for them to kind of just go to the bathroom on. It's not something comfortable. Like this blue stuff right here is more soft. I'm gonna kind of make it pretty. And then kind of spread it because they don't like it chunky. They like it more spread out so they can move it themselves. And yes, I know I sound a little bossy here. All I'm trying to do is teach you guys how I clean my hamster cage and some things that I like to tell you. Kind of mix it up because, well, if you have like, you know, this stuff that I showed you at the beginning, like things that I said was mulchy. My recommendation, I've said that millions of times. What I recommend you to do is mix that up and then put, make it all flat and then put the purple for like, like for my instance, it's purple. And I think I'm going to need about one more pile here. This is a tiny pile, but it's good. Just around this area. And four hands are low. And put him right on top. He feels like the king. Ready? Now you flatten it out. And then you kind of can mix it just a little bit, but be careful so you don't like smash that little guy in there. You can see how he's kind of climbing up on the wall. Don't be freaked out by that. That means he's just trying to get used to it. Like see, he's digging. He's seeing how it is. See, and then when I put something in, he's going to go right towards it. Oh, my cheetah butt. Get off of this, you bad hamster. Get off. Okay, guys. So, Pipsqueak is a little hamster who loves to chew. Look what he did. Pipsqueak, I'm surprised by this, too. Since he ate a piece of plastic, he's been alive for about two years and I showed that to my mom and I agreed with her on what she just said she said I'm surprised nothing happened to his body because you know if you eat plastic it's not good for you so honestly next time beware of what your hamster is doing I do hear him chew at night, but I think he's just chewing food. <sighs> and then after that, take a little bit of extra and kind of put it right there. Not on him, though. Now his back is covered in purple. You might want to stuff just a little bit in so he can move it around and get comfortable. Especially my hamster because he is not a happy camper. If he's not comfy, nobody's comfy. Where does this go? This goes right here. You little fat little hamster. Hey. Riley loves recording, so you record. <laughs> That's Riley. They know who she is. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's Carly. Obviously. There's Audrey. <laughs> Why are you so close up to my face? I'm I'll there. There's Audrey. No, I got this. I got this. Okay. And now I'm Nyla. That's not what it is. And now I'm Nyla number Nyla two. Like that dance. Okay, you got it. Right. Oh my dance. Going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. So we went to the movies. And we seen Joy, and Joy. <coughs> it was a good movie. No, I one guess. out of ten. It was it. amazing. One out of ten, rate it. Ten. No. I give um, it. I give it an eight. I give it a six. I give it a ten. Carly, what do you <laughs> give it? Uh, 
One out of ten. <laughs> Seven. Seven. I, I said eight. I said ten. Candy, one out of ten. How would you give the movie? Eight. Yeah. I'm the only one that picked ten. It seemed like they saved all the good She's stuff scary. to the end. Mm -hmm. So, bye. That's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video. And the question of the day is... How do you wear your hair for school? <laughs> How do you normally wear your hair for school? Okay, yeah. yeah. How do you wear your hair to school? Oh, wait. I've, I've wore it in a braid one time. It's because my mom was too lazy to do anything that day. <laughs> I normally wear it. Then, usually straight or curly. That's all I, I normally wear my hair in a pony, bun, or half up, half down. Okay. Never wear it down. I wear my hair in a ponytail. Every day? Yes. I either do it wow. in a high pony or I side braid it because I'm too lazy to do anything else. Yeah. I'll wear my hair in a pony Monday. I haven't even. Or sometimes. I've never worn my hair in a pony. I've only worn my hair in a braid one time and then the rest straight or curly. Or sometimes if I feel like really special, I'll put like this gel in it and then I'll wear it half up, half down. Bye. Bye. Bye.